Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So good morning, everyone. It is the 18th of June, 2024. It's a bit echoey where I am. I have to, I'm sitting in a new place and I need to change uh, my audio setup. So I hope you can hear me okay. Uh, in terms of announcements, what do we have happening today? Uh, the first technical tutorials move to tomorrow. Uh, so that's, uh, yeah, that's that. And we'll have the usual careers tutor, the usual careers tutorial and the second uh, technical or the two careers tutorials and the second technical tutorial will happen as usual. Um, and I believe that's really the only announcement. We're five weeks away from the job search phase. So we're in week nine. So we have nine, 10, 11, 12. So that's four weeks of technical training left. Um, we, as you know, uh, we've decided that everyone should maybe have a week off before starting the all important uh, supported job search phase. So that's uh, all I have in terms of announcements. Anyone else from the team? I did ask, but in case anyone else wants to jump in with an announcement, this is the right time to do it. Abu Bakr says the song sounds familiar. Yeah, I think it's quite a common West African uh, beat and the instruments, um, but there's a lot of music from that part from Senegal, which uh, sounds like that as well. <clears throat> all right, uh, so we have enough people or few enough people that we're going to go all the way around the room. Um, what I would like to know is uh, what did you get done yesterday? What's your plan for today? Any blockers? And if we have time, I'd love to have a bit of a chat. Um, so let's see how things go. So let's let's get started. We're going to go around the room uh, looking for volunteers. And I would like that uh, I don't need to call on people, but people just put their hands up and speak. Why do I say that? Um, because we know that when it comes to interviews, uh, you are going to have to speak. When it comes to work, you're going to have to explain what you're doing. And sometimes, as technology gets more more advanced, then the human the human ability to connect with people becomes uh, more and more of a distinguishing factor. So, who's going first? All right, Michael, go ahead. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Uh, yesterday, I tried to understand the concepts like uh, backtesting and something like that, and how trade works in the finance industry and some of the technical and the, some of the tools that we are going to use in the project. So that's why I have to think. And what's your plan for today, Michael? Today, today, yesterday, we, we were uh, the, the tutorial is about back back testing. So, trying trying that and understanding more because uh, after Wednesday is uh, the 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 schedule was understanding the concepts about the project. Then mm -hmm. after Wednesday, the, there there will be a group. There will be group formation, and after that, we are gonna gonna do the project. So, understanding the project up to Wednesday is. Uh, the basic task. And how do you, do you have any blockers? Yeah, I have some blockers about understanding the concepts, but. Uh, so tell me, what are the blockers? Maybe somebody here can, <clears throat> so I would like to know what your blockers are because uh, maybe we can connect with someone who can unblock your blocker. Okay, uh, one of the block, the blocker is like in the back testing, like uh, we, we test some of the, the the stock market, for example, like let's take Tesla or Netflix. So after we back after we we do the back test about Tesla or Netflix, uh, we are gonna store it in the database. So uh, so the user on, on the user only asks about Tesla and Netflix, or do we build the the, the pipeline for all of the stocks, or only or that we provided? That's the, that's my question. Okay, can anyone answer that question? Because I definitely can't. I see that we have Ramat on the call. Yeah, okay, maybe I can say something. So, uh, Michael, when you say the stocks, are you talking about all stock data or just mixing it with cryptocurrency, pet currencies? Yeah, just the stock data. Yeah, I mean, for the stocks, you can 
merge them and try to do your analysis on them. That's possible to do that. But mixing data with cryptocurrency and the others is not recommended. Your evaluation at the end will be not much accurate because the data is too much different when it comes to diff having different class of data. So on the stock, uh, if you take the stock, you can add more multiple data and try to do the backtesting on that and come up with your analysis. Yeah. At the end, it depends on the date you are trying to understand these data on the time series, right? So the longer time series you have also, it's better to get, to get more uh, insight on the data. Uh, is that clear or? Yes, yes, thank you. Is it for me? I don't think we're oh, hearing sorry. you. Are. Yeah, sorry, I was on mute. Um, Michael, before you go away, I would like to know how is your overall level of enthusiasm, energy, optimism on a scale of one to 10, where 10 is extremely optimistic, nothing can bring you down, and one is you're still lying in bed and your eyes are closed? Mm, I would say 8.25. <laughs> what is it? Why the point two five? Why not just eight? I want to be specific. So you you're able to measure yourself to that level of uh, that degree of detail, eight point two five. Yeah, that means yeah, I put a, a lot of history to answer the question. Okay, okay, that sounds good. Um, <laughs> I look forward to when your partner asks you, how do you feel about me? And you're going to give a very, very detailed uh, answer. I think usually the person just wants to hear, yes, I love you. And you'll be like, well, you know, part of me likes you, part of me doesn't, and I like the following things about you. So don't, you don't necessarily need to get that detailed. OK, let's go to Hillary. But thank you, Michael, for that. Hillary, go ahead. Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning. I, I want to start with the same question, just to build on what Michael was saying. I'm curious. What's your how how introspective are you? Um, are you also an eight point two five, or can you add a few more significant <laughs> digits? My mine is a nine. Uh, nine point uh, zero or just nine? No, let's say nine point zero. Uh, the the one is is because uh, uh, yeah, there's something confusing a little about uh, a lot of things uh, in the challenge document. But uh, so yesterday I tried to. Uh, work on we, we were taken to back trading the concepts and uh, how to how to perform it using back trader uh, uh, module so I tried that and uh, uh, you know I, I was getting progress no much blockers and uh, today I'm planning to look how to get the data from Yahoo Finance and Binance and uh, see how it can be stored in a relational database so yeah well, my uh, my confusion is that uh, uh, I want to understand how we can get uh, the data from Yahoo, how to import it from Yahoo Finance. Um, so the, the thing I've seen is that there's something called, um, uh, I think there are modules. So I want to understand if there are modules for Yahoo Finance. I see there is a module for Y Finance. So uh, if if there are any suggestions on how to do that, I'll I'll be grateful. <clears throat> okay, can I, can anyone help Hillary out with how to extract the data from Yahoo Finance? So, um, uh, if you remember to yesterday's tutorial um, for the back back trader framework, back testing framework, they have the syntax for uh, fetching a data from Yahoo fin by Finance. I mean, I, I use that on the demo as well. So you can check the tutorial maybe again, but they have the option A plus you can download the CSV file from Yahoo Finance, like I showed you, I showed on yesterday tutorial. Uh, so, and I, I think I also shared some references on the slide. It can help. So, uh, or is it different, the question? I mean, Hilary? Yeah, it's, it's more similar. So um, I look into that uh, after I missed it. Yeah, 
if you go to the back trader uh, documentation you can the first thing you will see is when they load the data they directly load it from yahoo finance so i think it would be a start start from the documentation maybe great how many of you guys believe that yahoo used to be larger than google does anyone know that You guys all knew that? Okay, I'm not surprising anyone. <clears throat> Yahoo was the big deal back in the day. Okay, let's go to Daisy. So Daisy, just like to hear what you're up to and then I'm gonna ask you the same question at the end. How you, how's your optimism? Uh, hello, good morning everyone. So yesterday I spent most of it researching uh, this week's project. I understood the difference between fundamental and technical analysis and also we start the technical indicators. And uh, also this week, uh, Jared and I would be hosting the training led conversation. So I spent some time preparing for that as well. And today I'm hoping to experiment with the Backstreet framework and have a feel of it before we get into the project with the rest of the group. And yeah, overall, I can say that I'm feeling uh, an eight. Yeah. Great, thank you. <clears throat> Let's go to Temeskin. Hi, good morning, guys, and uh, welcome back to Faro. Uh, last uh, yesterday, I was researching on the backtesting and uh, the study with the challenge document. Uh, I haven't. Yeah, I, I just I, I did most of it, and uh, I'm working towards understanding all of it and for the today's vlog uh, I'm, I'm planning to make a plan for the project for all the, the project and I'm looking forward to meeting uh, groups that will be assigned and uh, planning for the work on Lord. and uh, yesterday I, I, I missed the tutorial I was I, I was attending the the connection problem i didn't understood the verb all of it so it would us to the post the the, the tutorial uh, as soon as possible that would, that would, that would be helpful and uh, my optimism is around seven seven point five gone to, to, and any blockers to meskin any blockers just not understanding the, the topics. It's just I, I'm taking time on on that. No, 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 no. So I haven't I haven't seen you ask any questions in the Slack group. So if you have uh, if you're having difficulty understanding, to what extent would it help you to ask uh, to ask some questions in the Slack group? It it would it would be helpful. Uh, so why don't you ask? Because yes, even, just, I mean, one, one yes, of the things that one of the th no all, all the time. I mean, one of the things that I want to emphasize, and if we haven't been able to keep it up, then we will make it. Um, if you ask a question, it's really important to us that if you're not sure what's going on, you should not be suffering in silence. You shouldn't be waiting out there by yourself. There are people. Uh, if not your fellow trainees, uh, also your fellow trainees, also the tutors who are here and we're here to help answer your questions. And we want to proceed uh, at the speed that the cohort is proceeding at the speed of the fastest person. So if you have a question, especially in the period from eight to two UTC, you should be getting an answer within five minutes. And so if that hasn't been happening and uh, based on the Slack, it hasn't been happening too much, so we're going to be uh, going back to this five-minute response time. But it's it's really, really important and helpful. And you'll see when you get to work that the most successful companies are the ones where people are not sitting out there by themselves and just waiting, but people are moving at the speed of the fastest person. So, Tomeskin, if you're not sure what's going on, then I want you to ask, and you should be asking in the relevant week channel. And you will get an answer. Good. Got it. Yeah. And in in the same way, I would like to encourage everyone who's maybe a little bit further ahead that it's extremely valuable to spend your time.
practicing how to answer some of the questions that your other trainees uh, are going to be asking. Because in the absence of teaching people, your knowledge will be limited. But when you practice by teaching people, uh, we have seen and we believe, but we've also seen that uh, it becomes much, much, much easier to improve your own knowledge. So thank you for sharing that blogger, Tomeska. Let's go to Javez. OK, good morning. Good morning. Uh, OK, uh, yesterday I was trying to understand what cryptocurrency means, what uh, blockchain means. Uh, and also to understand the uh, trading uh, and I got some so, some of the concepts but uh, I have uh, I need some clarifications on, on some of them like I understand that uh, backpisting means uh, is, is it uh, some kind of simulation uh, meaning that we are testing uh, or using the uh, the older data to uh, use it and to predict uh, the coming trend. Uh, is that like that? And are we simulating like uh, yesterday the tutorial was about on the uh, back trader uh, framework? So are we like simulating because there, there is a uh, uh, some concepts like uh, there is a, uh, uh, a folder, a portfolio that we put money in and also there is uh, a money that we set for um, uh, uh, to sell and to buy. So uh, is that like a simulation? That's just I want to clarify that. And also the second my question is, are we using only one data? For example, are we using, for example, using cryptocurrency like for the Bitcoin uh, to do the backtesting on that one? Or do we use uh, another uh, data? Thank you. You are on mute. Yeah, sorry. I was saying, who's willing to answer Jabez's question? And Jabez, if you're willing to give me one Bitcoin, I'll answer all your questions. I wish I have one. <laughs> okay, so you know, you know, you know enough about crypto to, to know that one Bitcoin is worth a lot. So you can't. Yeah, say yeah. But but Raymond, maybe let let's see if anyone from the team can answer. Anyone from any of the colleagues can answer. Any of the trainees. So I'm sure you know, but I'd like to, let's hear from other people. So Jabez, can you summarize your two questions? Okay, my first qu question is on the uh, back testing. Yeah. Uh, is that like a simulation? Just to overview of that, is, is that just a simulation that we say to money, like we have a portfolio of money, then we sell some, we buy and sell something using the previous data then we are saying that this is a good uh, uh, a good trend so we can for the future we can uh, invest on this is that like that that's my first question and the okay, second let's, question let's, is let's, let's start there so who can answer that okay. question who can help Jabez understand what backtesting is mister uh, good morning uh, so uh, for the backtesting my understanding is that um, a trading strategy that was used in the past and that was successful uh, is expected to be successful in the future too. So uh, using the data that's provided, I think you will adjust your strategy. And uh, if it's successful, uh, it means that it's a good strategy and it can be used for further uh, tradings. Uh, that's it. Does anyone have anything to add? Michael, do you want to add something? Yeah, backtesting means using historic. Basically, as the name indicates, it is like testing the back. The back means the historic data, and it can be applied to any industries. But mainly, in my, uh, mainly it is used in the uh, financial industry. So that means basically analyzing the the last, for example, ten years or one years uh, data, then predicting the future. So basically, like for example, uh, Nvidia is very high. Uh, the the stock market of Nvidia is very high as of today. So that, that's because there there is a lot of hype in the AI industry. So uh, in the next months, what can we, how how can we predict that? So basically, using the historic data, predicting the future, but basically means analyzing the historic data. Okay, Javez, does that answer your question? 
yes, just uh, maybe a little further. I, I know uh, the the overall uh, idea, but on the uh, on the frameworks for the back trader, it just we are setting some uh, some values for the uh, trade folder on, and uh, things like that, and maybe a little bit, bit clarification on the uh, on the meters that we use to uh, measure this. Uh, this that data. So can you? <clears throat> so your your question is is a little bit uh, vague. So we the you, the question that you had asked before has been answered. Now the question is changing, which is fine. <clears throat> but can you ask a more specific question? So you said you want a little bit more information, but it's hard to know what you're looking for. So give me a better question. Okay, I am just asking on the framework. The back okay, the maybe framework. I can. Yeah, Renat, go ahead. Yeah, okay. So it's like, like you said, it's like a simulation. So you need when on the live trading system, you will say timeline, right? When you trade before closing the price, like that. On the back testing, you need this mock money cash value to test your strategy. So is, is this actually, am I actually profiting from my initial cash value? This cash value is a mock value. I mean, it's not a real money. So it will help you having this portfolio value. It helps you to see is my, the strategy that you put is actually working. If it's failing, if you are losing money, then you can understand the strategy is not working. So you will change your strategy or you will advise traders, investors not to invest because of this. this, this. So you get the purpose of the money, right? The portfolio money. It helps you to test your strategy. Okay, so it's uh, like uh, assumed money, and we are just yes, it's an assumed money that yeah, it's an assumed money that you can adjust to whatever amount. Okay, thank you. Okay, you, you have a second question, Javez. Thank you, Renat. You have a second question. Okay, the second question is on the data. Are we just using one data? For example, are we using uh, this? Uh, are we doing backtesting on the, for example, the crypto? A currency for uh, Bitcoin, or do we do um, multiple? So is that not written in the challenge document? I think it says uh, you can use uh, data from the Yahoo or uh, uh, the other sites, but I don't think it's specific on on the how many data should we use. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I can clarify this one as well. So. It is recommended to stick on one type of class. That is, if you're choosing cryptocurrency data, just focus on those. Mixing them will not give you a better uh, result at the end. It will be a lot complex, and the predictions will not be accurate. So, so if you choose the cryptocurrency, just focus on cryptocurrency data that are found on both Yahoo and Binance. Uh, both the stock trading data is also found on those two platforms, and the fiat currency trading and others. So just try to pick one class, and you can do that project on that one. OK, thank you. Excellent. OK, I'm really happy to hear discussions coming out. Uh, who is next? I think there were some other hands that were up until we after Jabez. So who else would like to go? We're going to try and finish on time. So we have time for, we're not going to get through everyone, but I actually have a list of people that uh, I've been asked to call on, and I'm going to call on them. Uh, ta, 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 ta. Let's see, who do we have? Yes, you know, it's funny. Uh, Mabuba, you were top on the list. So we're going to go to Mabuba, and then we're going to go to um, is Jerusalem. So Mabuba, Jerusalem, Mr. and Abdul Salam. Okay, hello, can you hear me? Yeah, very well. Thank you. Go ahead. Okay, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Happy <clears throat> to, to to see my progress. Uh, yesterday I was not able to attend the um, tutorial because of the oh. network, but I was uh, so going through the challenge document, and I understood some things in not full not fully. But I'm so inter I'm very interested on the topic, and I'm uh, today I'm planning to understand the challenge documents fully. And if the tutorial is posted, I will uh, I will see that. 
Okay, so it sounds like yesterday was not so much progress, and hopefully today you make more progress. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have any blockers? Not understanding fully the project, just just that's a blocker that I will okay. try to understand today. So normally a blocker is something external, so not understanding the project because you haven't put the time in yet, which is no, fine. Network issue. It was network uh, issue. Oh, network issue. Fine. Okay. Is that solvable in some way? Today's good. Okay. Okay. That sounds good. Okay, and your optimism. I forgot to ask about your optimism. Nine. Nine. Because I'm very I'm very interested on that subject, on that topic. Okay. Great. Okay, let's go to Mr. and then Jerusalem and then to Abdul Salam. Okay, so uh, yesterday I was uh, taking a look at the challenge document and also I was trying to read some of the references that were listed on the doc. Uh, so I was able to accomplish, like, uh, to understand a few topics. Uh, I think it was a good progress. Uh, today my plan is to finish all the references and maybe um, to start exploring a few things, uh, maybe download the data set and see uh, what it looks like. I don't have any blocker so far. And yeah, I'm feeling good. Okay, excellent. That was a perfect 20 to 30 second update. So I, I congratulate you on your update. Let's go to Jerusalem and then to Abdus Salam. Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, so yesterday I wasn't able to do much. Uh, I had the same problem as uh, Mubba. So uh, uh, my plan is to understand the challenge and continue on the sorry your plan is to understand the challenge and then to continue on and then i lost you yes uh to continue on the project yeah. okay any blockers um power outage that's my issue that's my how, wish. how's your optimism about six. Six. Okay. Can six. we help you somehow? Can we get that up to a six point two five? Uh, I don't know. It's, uh, it's mis I'm having a connection and the power outage problem, so I don't think anyone can do anything about that. Yeah. Would it help you to find a different place to work from? Do you want to ask around and see where other people are working from? Okay, that can help. Yes. Does anyone have a tip for Jerusalem on a place with good power? How's the National Library? It's packed. It's, it's packed. packed. Yes. But the, po the power is good. Yes, the power is. Can anyone give Jerusalem a tip on a good place to work from which is not packed, where the power is reasonable? Bethlehem? I think you can go to Lafton if it's not far from where you live. Okay. Uh -oh. Is it a coffee shop or something? Or? So, Irisla, maybe just for the interest of time, let's take this to Slack. Can you ask this question in the week nine channel of Slack? And yeah, there's Abahad Library, somebody suggested. Michael has suggested the Ten Academy office. Uh, yes, Ten Academy does have an office. We definitely don't have space for everyone to come. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Discuss with Rodas and if there's a possibility, uh, you guys decide with Rodas. Uh, but yes, we have an office in Hayahulet. But I think these are the sorts of things, guys, I want us to move towards. We are about one third the way through the training. And I would like us to move away from the mindset of I have to figure it out myself to I have to put the work in, but I want to be able to discuss with other people. So yeah, I would like to <clears throat> that people are not suffering in silence. Let's go. Uh, let's wrap up with uh, Abdul Salam. I saw him before. Is he here? No, or maybe I was just imagining things. Don't see him here. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, just recap the announcements. Uh, we are five weeks away from the supported job search phase. 
we're in week nine. Um, today we have one technical and two careers tutorials. And um, if there's any questions, it's important to me that we uh, ask. We don't uh, suffer in silence. But on the other hand, um, what I've seen in the past is sometimes when somebody figures something out, there's this worry that if I say, look, I figured this out, does anyone want to jump on a call or figure out how to do this? There's this worry that people A, B, C are showing off. I would like us to change our mindset into this mindset of, I learned how to do something. Let me share how to do it um, with other people. So that's one thing I would like us to work on this week. Let's, uh, let's become a little bit more interactive. Personally speaking, I ask the question to everyone else. I'm going to answer the question myself as well about optimism. Um, I would say short-term optimism uh, for me is about a nine, and long-term optimism is about a seven. So for me, that short-term is, are we going to be able to uh, achieve what I hope to be able to do in the two-year time frame? That's where I'm sitting at a nine. And in the long term, it's a bit of a hazy. It's a bit of a hazier outlook. I think there's some really, um, really good things, but uh, there's also some clouds. There's some uncertainties. So my answer would be uh, a nine and a seven. Any last questions before we wrap up the stand up? Because this is really a good chance. If somebody doesn't know what they're doing, if somebody is stuck trying to solve the problem, this is now the time to ask. Any questions? Any? burning issues, any burning challenges, anything that's preventing you guys from doing what you should be doing? No? All right. Let's uh, stop the recording and wishing everyone a super day. And Umu Sangare is where we started. I'm going to post a link to that song. Would highly